today's video, I'm going to show you another messy bun technique that just might be the one that is easy for you if you have struggled with some of my others. We are going to start this bun by, as usual, putting our hair up in a ponytail where we want this bun to be. I have done this bun twice now in my shorts. Once in a quick tutorial and once I slowed it down, but because it was under a minute long, I was able to upload it as a short. Um, but both the times that I did the bun that time, I did it as a bun at the back of my head. So this time we're going to do it as your classic top of the head messy bun. But just keep in mind with any messy bun, you can actually put it anywhere you want. Back of your head, low bun, they all work. Just about where you want the bun to be is where you want the ponytail to go. So we're going to start by creating our ponytail. Um, to get a nice tight one, I'm going to wrap the hair tie three times, but you want to wrap it as many times as you need to make sure that your ponytail is going to be tight. And okay, so we've got our loop here, and I just didn't let it go. If you let it go, it would just be like wrapped around your ponytail like normal, but I've just left my finger in it. And you're going to put your two fingers, your thumb and your pointer, any two fingers if you can grab the hair with them, but obviously these two fingers is going to be the easiest, and you've got your ponytail here. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the hair over, over our fingers and grab it. Okay, so we've got the ponytail. We're wrapping it over our pointer finger and grabbing it. And then we're just going to pull it through. So now we kind of have this little weird shape thing going on, kind of a loop here, a loop here, and you're going to have a tail. Now, if your hair is not super long like mine, you probably won't have a lot of tail. Um, if your hair is longer, you're going to have more tail. I'm just going to take the tail and I'm going to just tuck it into this bit of hair tie here. So if you're if you have even less tail than me, you can just leave it. You don't have to do this part, but there we go. So now we have kind of three little loops and even like this by itself as a sleek little bun, it's kind of cute. But we're going to do our classic fluff and pull to pull apart the bun. Being careful if you have a small tail like mine with that front bit. If you pull too much forward, you are going to pull the tail out. So just being mindful of that. You can always tuck it back in though. So don't obsess over making sure that, you know, you don't pull at the ends. Because you can just tuck them back in. Or secure them with a bobby pin. Or just leave them out. Doesn't matter. So you're going to pull it apart to your liking. Just like every bun. And then once you're done and you're happy with it, that's it. That's your bun. It is another super cute and easy way to create a little bit more of an intricate, messy bun in your fine hair. You don't have to leave your bangs down. I just pulled mine down because I just blow dried them. So I wanted to enjoy them. That's the front. This is another one that some people find more tricky than the flip and twist bun, but also some people find this one easier. So if you're really struggling with the flip and twist bun, maybe you'll find this one easier and maybe this one will be the one that helps you get that cute messy bun. And it's a really secure one. I do find with the flip and twist, even after you get it, if you don't get the twist in the right spot, sometimes the bun is really, really floppy and you have to put in a bunch of bobby pins. This one is super secure. It's super tight because you've got the hair wrapped in there a few times. So really, really great bun if you are going to be out and about all day working out, anything like that. So give this one a try. Let me, guy, let me know, guys, what you think, how it works for you in the comments, or if you have any specific questions that I didn't touch on, something you're struggling with that I may not have anticipated. I am always happy to make more videos to address those questions that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, especially if I upload more that answer your questions and like and subscribe because it really helps me out here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.